Man, get up here in the Zoloft to get your head right. What's up, Earthlings, and welcome to the Zoloft. Okay, look here. I got some really bad news for the climate strikers. Y'all can't do even the greenest glob of snot about the environment. You want to know why? No. No. I'll tell you anyway. You ready? It's because you're here. Yeah, that's why. And that's not coming from me. That's coming from you. Y'all, I'm looking at the irony of y'all boasting about how many people participated in this event. Let me repeat that. I am looking at the irony of y'all boasting about how many people participated in this event while at the same time saying that all these people are contributing to the overpopulation of the earth and killing it. If there really is a climate problem, then according to your own narrative, you are the proof of it. You hypocrites support people like Bernie Sanders, who says that abortion is good for the environment. And what have I been telling y'all for years? That the Democrats' objective is to control everything. They want to control your education, your behavior, your health, your wealth. They want to control your votes, control the weather. Yeah, and they want to control your population too. So yeah, Democrats will even use the weather to justify abortions. Sacrifice your kid to Mother Earth. This ain't new stuff, y'all. These are the same hypocrites that preach about fairness. Oh yeah, it's fair that they got to be born to ruin the Earth, but they got to stop others from being born to ruin it. Sorry, sorry, cooch coo, no fairness or equality for you, you tired, poor, huddled mass of cells. You don't get to cross the border into free air-breathing territory. Fair for me, but not for thee. <laughs> and kids are being commended for wasting taxpayer money. Oh, I'm so proud of my kid for taking a stand for what they believe in. No, your kid is being brainwashed to take a stand for what the state believes in. And the state is behind your kids ditching school to go celebrate a state-sponsored pagan holiday. This generation is being used. And this ain't a new thing. The statists who want to control the population always pander to the youth. It was the same thing with the Nazi regime and the brown shirts and the Hitler youth. These kids are not thinking for themselves. They're not coming to these conclusions on their own. Don't get me wrong, there are inclinations that any of us could inherently have, but they're being cultivated. Like say for instance, it's natural for all of us to be selfish. You can either encourage a person's selfishness or raise a person up to understand that selfishness ain't cool. And a lot of these people really don't understand what selfishness is, but it's exactly what they are and are taught to think that if you don't believe like them, you're the one who's selfish. But as I was saying, their sentiments are being engineered. It doesn't mean that they're not smart or talented. It means that their intellect is being channeled for the agenda of the state. They're being influenced to become voters of more money and power to the state. And it is the nature of rebellious people to think that they can redeem themselves. That includes the rebellious nature of kids. Because even with the teenage rebellious spirit, they want to feel like they can redeem themselves too. And stoking them to think that they care about the earth more than you is a great way to do it. These kids love it when you puff their heads up saying, yes, we need to listen to the young. We've been saying this for decades and you might have noticed that people are becoming more and more disconnected. These kids are being politicized and conditioned to be a left wing voter stock. And a lot of people, for whatever reason, they'll say that they don't want to have a discussion on the issue, which is not really true. They just don't want to be questioned about what they believe. They'll assume that they just want peace and just want to be free to believe what they want to believe. The beliefs that you want to be free to have cost other people by force. And while they say that they don't want to get involved with the politics of it, they don't seem to mind that their kids are being politicized. Their kids are being led into one-sided political activism. That's not education, y'all. That's indoctrination. We've been saying that for years. And I thank God I got some friends who are educators, decent God-fearing educators. There's just so few of them, y'all. Up against a legion of godless educators. And I see conservatives saying these kids need to get their butts back in class. Why? So they can get more mind molested by these left wing nuts? Teachers that are influencing them to worship the earth and nature while at the same time teaching them to rebel against the laws of nature? Like, uh, just because you have male genitalia does not make you a boy. All right, class, now it's time to play show and tell with our pronouns. That's right, we're pro-science. Y'all, I don't have a problem with green technology. The problem is you want to force other people to pay for it. If y'all are as determined to save the earth as you claim to be, 
then you shouldn't have to force these industries to be tax funded. Look at all these people that y'all are boasting participated in this climate strike. If every one of y'all cracked open your little piggy bank, then you could afford to pay for these ideas that you want implemented. But no, you want this stuff produced at the forced expense of other people. While you don't seem to be aware of the fact that it costs you too. Why do y'all always feel like you're so dang poor? Because you vote for policies that keep you poor while you think you're sticking it to somebody else. Y'all gotta learn the hard way, man. Sorry, sorry, pronoun, gender, exclusion, faux pas, whatever. Y'all gotta learn the hard way, y'all. But like I said, y'all want this stuff produced at the forced expense of other people, which means that you don't even really believe in this stuff. Not enough to put your own money where your mouth is. You don't want to make the sacrifices to pay for this technology. You want other people to do it. While you parade around boasting in how good of a person you are because you charge other people of being enemies of the planet. And you will always have those who will never be satisfied with how well these things will work anyway. You will always have a movement saying that we need to be more diligent, dare I say, more extreme. And in their extremes, they will impose more policies that will infringe on the rights of others. And yes, y'all, it can even get to a point where they can make it legal to kill those who stand in the way of their ideals. Yeah, that's crazy talk, right? I mean, that's never happened before. So since we're all in the spirit of saving the earth, why don't y'all do something really good for the planet and give my book a solid right cross. I'm sure it killed less trees to make my book than them paper straws that you can get at a Starbucks and leave a rating and review from whatever venue you got it from. All right, y'all, give a hoot, don't pollute, never be a dirty bird, you know. All right, class, now it's time to play show and tell with our pronouns. <laughs>